First, breaking developments on the Pulse massacre from U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch. She announced the Department of Justice is giving $1 million of emergency funding to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. But that is still way short of the $5 million Governor Rick Scott was trying to get from the feds to pay for all the resources used during and after the massacre. News 6's Eric Von Anken is here with what this means, Eric. Ginger, I asked the Orange County, the city of Orlando OPD, and the sheriff's office how much they've all spent since this massacre. No one would give me a total yet. Of course, it's early on, but considering the overtime, the investigation, the security, among many other things, it's a whole lot. Is this critical? Was this money critical? I believe that the money would have been most helpful in this community to assist us in recovering from the tragedy that we have experienced. We had extraordinary costs associated with this event. Sheriff Jerry Deming says Orange County and the city of Orlando have never had to deal with, much less pay for, anything like the Pulse nightclub mass shooting. Our staff have been working around the clock. We've had to uh, step up our uh, public safety efforts across the spectrum, and it's costing significant dollars to be able to do that. We've had a number of visits now from a lot of uh, elected officials at the federal, state, and local level, and when we get those visits, it sucks resources up as well. One of those visits last Thursday when the president came to town and officers, troopers, and deputies had to shut down and secure downtown and then escort the president in and out of the city. Look at the law enforcement expenses in this. It's, it's, it's pretty high. It's very high, really. Last week, Governor Scott said there were and will be many additional expenses. That's why he says he was so disappointed when he got this letter from the FEMA director denying the emergency declaration and the $5 million because, quote, your request did not demonstrate how the emergency response associated with this situation is beyond the capability of the state and affected local governments or identify any direct federal assistance needed to save lives or protect property in emergency declaration is not appropriate for this incident. Governor Scott pointed out that the president did declare an emergency for the Boston bombings in 2013. FEMA said that's because it was an ongoing emergency. Remember that manhunt for the bombers lasted for days. And a FEMA spokesperson told me that the governors in other mass shootings, San Bernardino, Newtown, and Virginia Tech ladies didn't even hmm. bother asking for this same declaration. So, Eric, what about now? I mean, how bad is this financial situation especially? Well, it got a little bit better today, again, with what you mentioned, the announcement of that $1 million coming from the Attorney General to FDA Lee, and the feds are giving us a quarter million dollars for overtime. But Sheriff Deming says that this could be dire. He says that we could run out of money, potentially. We have to see. But more on that in the story I'm putting together for 530. Yeah, when you hear the FBI say that this investigation could take years, that's going to add up. It's mm -hmm. going to, there's a lot to do. All right. Thank <laughs> a you. A lot Aaron. of money, yeah.